Hello guys and welcome to the Simply Code programming channel. This is Vikesh and let's get started with today's topic which is about operators in Java. When we talk about operators in Java, there are multiple types of operators like assignment operators, arithmetic operators, unary operators, then we have conditional operators and logical operators and we also have bitwise operators and we will cover all of these operators one by one. We will understand what, how, what these operators are and how they work and we will also look at a demonstration of it. So let's get started. The first operators we are going to discuss is about arithmetic operators and assignment operators and we will also see if we can cover unary operators. So when we talk about assignment operators, I have again opened the official Java docs here if we understand assignment operators, we have been using these operators all the while in all of the demos so far. And the basic idea is very simple. Whenever you assign a value to a variable, you use the assignment operator, which is nothing but the equal sign. We have already covered this in multiple demos, so I will not cover this as part of the demo. But what I'm going to cover in detail is about these arithmetic operators. So arithmetic operators are basically used to perform any kind of arithmetic operation on a Java program. It can be an addition operation. It can be a subtraction operation. It can be a multiplication operation, a division operation or an operation by which you can find the remainder of the division. So we will look at each of these uh, with an example. And as you can see, the symbols are expectedly what you generally use in mathematics. So you see the, the plus sign here, which is for addition. You see the minus sign, which is for subtraction. You see the star sign, which is for multiplication. You see the slash sign, which is for division. And you see the percentage sign, which is for finding the remainder of a division. So let's see an example of each of these and how we can use them in a, in a Java program. So for the arithmetic operations, I have prepared a demonstration of it in the Eclipse IDE, again, I'm using the same Java project, which I've shown you, we created in our previous lectures. So I will, for all the demonstrations, I will just continue on the same project. So again, the way to create a class remains the same, exactly the same as how I covered in the previous lecture in the Hello World program, where we created a class. So here also I created a class, I named the class as arithmetic demo and I have a public static void main method inside this particular class. And I have basically tried to demonstrate each of the operation. So let's start with the addition operation first. So I create an integer variable here named as result. And then I try to use the addition operator to make this variable store the result of this addition. So it's a simple one plus two. You can also create two different variables for one and two, let's say x equal to one and y equal to two. And you can also do int result equal to x plus y. It will have the same effect. But just for simplicity, I have put the literal numbers here. So result is storing the, the uh, expression value of one plus two. And then I'm printing this value here. You can see I'm printing the result variable here with using system.out.println. Then I'm storing this result into a variable, into a new variable, original result with using the assignment operator. And then I'm trying to subtract something from it. So now I'm saying result equal to result minus one. It means whatever the current value of result is, subtract minus one from that value. So the value was three here and here three minus one becomes two. So the new value of result becomes two the original result still holds three because it is storing the old value. The new value of result has now become two. So I'm printing the original result. And then what I'm doing that I'm again assigning the new result, which is two to the original result. So now original result and result both are at two. Then I move ahead and I try to demonstrate the multiplication operation. So I take the same variable result and I say multiply it by two. So whatever the value of result was, which at this place should be two, multiply that value by two. So two into two, the new value of result should become four after this multiplication operation. And again, I'm assigning the value of original result to this particular variable. And then I'm showcasing the fourth mathematical arithmetic operation, which is division. So you can see result by two here, 
So basically, I'm, whatever the current value of result is, I'm dividing that value by 2. So 4 divided by 2 should become 2. So again, the new value of the result variable should become 2. Then I'm printing the value and again storing the value back into the original result. Then the next operation is again an addition operation where I whatever the value of result is at this particular point which is 2 add 8 to that particular value. So the new result value becomes 10 and then I'm printing that particular value again assigning the original result to the result and then to showcase the remainder operation I'm doing result we call this particular operator as mod or modulus. So result modulus 7. So the current value here is in this case would be 10. So I'm saying 10 mod 7. So 10 mod 7 would become 3 because if we divide 10 by 7 the remainder should be 3 and this modulus operator is used to calculate the remainder of a division operation. So that 3 will be stored in this result variable and then we print that particular variable. So that is what I'm doing. If I take you back up there, I'll just minimize this window and this window as well. So if I take you back to the starting, I'm doing an addition first here at line 7. Then I'm doing a subtraction at line 12. Then I'm doing a multiplication at line 17 and a division at line 22. And then again an addition at line 27 and then a modulus at line 32 and I'm printing the respective values. So let us run this program and see what results do we get. So I right click, I go to run as, I go to Java application. There is also a shortcut for it. If you want to use the shortcut, you can use that. So I click on this and the output is, is displayed here. So you can see, let me bring this output back to its original position. Yeah, I just dragged it here to the top, uh, to the bottom. So if we start from the top and see what all results did we get printed. So line 9 says 1 plus 2 equal to the value of result. So 1 plus 2 equal to at this particular point the result value was 3 because 1 plus 2 equal to 3. Moving on the next variable here is minus. So the current value was 3. We said 3 minus 1 which becomes 2 and we store the value of result or 3 into this result variable and we print that value at line 14. So original result plus original result is 3 then a string here minus 1 equal to so this is just a string and then the actual current result value which is 2. So far so good we move ahead and then at line 19 we are multiplying the current value of result by 2 and again displaying the original result and the current value. So 2 is the original result here because here 3 minus 1 had become 2. So original result value was 2, multiply that by 2 becomes 4. Then moving on to the line 24, two by, uh, 4 by 2 should become 2. So 4 by 2 equals 2, the current value of result. Then again moving on to the next variable uh, at line 29, now the result value should become 10 because 2 plus 8 is 10. And again we are printing the original result and then the current result value. So the original result was 2, then we added 8 to it and the new result value had become 10 which is coming from this particular variable. Moving on to line 34, we are again printing the original result which was 10 here and then we are saying this particular string which is modulus 7 and the current value of result is coming from this expression which is 10 modulus 7 and like I said modulus or mod operation is basically used to calculate the remainder of a division operation which so 10 divided by 7 remainder is 3 so that becomes 3 and that's why you see the value 3 so this is a demonstration to show you how we can use the addition multiplication subtraction division and modulus operators which are all the arithmetic operators and i think this is where we should stop this lecture so in the next session we will be discussing about the other operator types which are unary operators and we will also discuss some other interesting operators which are popularly used in Java. If you enjoyed this video, a thumbs up would be massively appreciated and do not forget to subscribe to Simply Code for more programming related videos. Thank you and we'll meet again in the next lecture.